Here we are at the old Eurostar terminal in Waterloo where we're about to see the Meadham Kershaw show which is called A Wolf in Lamb's Clothing and looks quite interesting. I went over to their studio in East London a few weeks ago to catch up with the boys and have a little look around the studio. So, from a design point of view, are two heads sort of better than one? Is that Basically, I do it, but then that makes Ben seem useless, which isn't really the case, isn't it? You know, like, it's a really difficult question to answer. Uh, we <laughs> didn't really ever decide to work together. It just happened, and I think that, you know, it's uh, like the relationship kind of grew organically in, in that sense. It came out of a sort of a, an anger of not being able to find things that we wanted to find that knew, we knew existed, but it just weren't present at that time. Because we started with menswear initially, uh, we wanted to see a new sort of like uh, take, I guess. I don't know. Everyone was wearing swooby jeans and uh, deep cut v-neck t-shirts. They all wanted to look like Blue or David Beckham, as they did in 2001, you know. So it's very straight. It's very Essex. How would you describe the handwriting of the, of the brand? Well, it's nice that it's actually described as handwriting rather than signature. I hate the idea of signature. I mean, if you sign something, it's kind of, you know, saying you're dead somehow. I think that if we look at it re retrospectively, all the collections have got uh, continuity, yeah, I guess. We're not really self-analytical in that way. Do you know what I mean? I think that we don't really spend time sort of uh, analysing what we've just done, or in while we, in terms of like, uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. I do analyze it constantly, I guess, but. But not in that way. Mm. This is where I sit between seasons and think about what we're going to do for the next one. And it's where I sit and design it. And you like Courtney Love, don't you? Yeah. What's, what's it about Courtney that you like? Uh, kind of everything. I, think. I don't know, she tells me, she clarifies in my head what I'm thinking somehow. These are mostly images that were on my wall when I was a teenager. Then we have, this is the table that my pattern makers share. This is the cutting table, the production. So this is the current collection? Yep. This is the winter stuff, production. This is the sewing area. So this is where everything actually gets made? Uh, yeah. This so is where all the artwork gets developed. This is where the jackets when get hand painted. painted. This is where the our sort of uh, special medium Kirchhoff shit happens. And this is my office, yes, this is my office. This is where I come off to work, I think in the house. I don't have a door. Oh, don't you? No. I like, I like to be here when there's no one else in here and then I can just, you know, pot around and play with my plants and my garden outside and whatever else. Living in the same space is an interesting, creative way of uh, working and uh, so somehow being as well, because you like are this totally time submerged perfect, in it. And, I don't and have you... to work, think about anything. I can just get up and work and go to sleep. Yeah. But between but there are seasons th when sometimes I want to be left alone and everything else still needs to happen, it drives me mad. But nowhere to escape. Mm. No. It creates an intensity, I think, that uh, somehow is uh, important as well. When we get backstage, I normally become Calmer. pretty calm. So, I mean, there's nothing there's you nothing can do by the stage. nothing that can be then done, so, and I just like, sort of you know, like mill around telling people to get out of my way. <laughs> Usually, or to leave, full stop. Backstage is always like, all oh, these hundreds of unnecessary people, I don't know who they are, I'll just come, and we'll like, get out. Yeah, there's far too many like people. Like in front of all the, li the lineup as yeah, they're yeah. waiting to go out, and I'm running up and down trying to check them, and there's people. But that doesn't happen until about the very end, when all the girls are getting dressed. Yeah, exactly. Because mm. generally speaking, like we arrive, we turn up, we set up like you know our food, our rails, and then until we've actually got girls to dress and send to hair and makeup, there's fuck all to do. So usually. usually, we're only really interested in making visual statements, really, and creating the world 
of Liam Kershaw. So it's just sort of, is an aspect of that. I'm in, really interested in this concept of a show rather than just a runway, if you know what I mean. I think, you know, there's more, more potential than that that I want to explore. Really. It's about destroying idealised beauty, basically. I'm kind of sick of being so depressed and last season was about so much depression and after it was about a, a great amount of depression as well and I, I want this one to be kind of joyous and light. happy and kind of light and funny and gross and, and lovely home, and pretty. And the other I want, is in inevitable because we're doing it. I want the show to feel to like nothing it. bad is going to happen. Yeah. I'm sick of black. So we've just seen the Meadham Kershaw show, which was bonkers and fabulous. So it's kind of like confetti, weddings, proms, ballet, ballet dancers, the box thing with the jewellery box top and colourful fur. It was quite spectacular.